purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at onpurposely.com. Hey, you ready to bust another myth? This week on the Bible for Busy People. Hi, I'm Erica, your host, and I am absolutely ready because another reason people say they don't read the Bible is because the stories are so confusing. So all this week, we're going to pitch a tent and hang out with Jesus because nobody could tell a story like the Lord Jesus. So join me as we bust another myth. We're going to kick off today's episode in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. This is a letter that Paul wrote to the church in Corinth. The first letter, you see how that works? If you're new to the Bible, it's really simpler than you could ever imagine. And it's just actually half a verse 33 in chapter 14. For God is not a God of disorder, but of peace. God does not want you to be confused. He is a God of clarity, of peace, of order. And right now, if you let him, he wants to speak with you through his word. The Bible says, I believe somewhere in Hebrews, I'll put it in the show notes, that his word is alive. It's living and active and sharper than any double-edged sword. That's why when you read it, when you listen to it out loud, when you study it, it's different than studying any other book. It's the only book that's alive. Let God breathe peace into you, joy and life into you today through his word. Okay, join me now in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11. We're going to hang out with Jesus and his followers, and we're going to listen to Jesus tell a story about prayer. But first, his followers have a question for him. Luke, chapter 11, beginning in verse 1. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying. As he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. Of course, they're referring to John the Baptist, who was the one who was sent to announce that Jesus was coming. He was the one who ate locusts and honey in the wilderness and wore animal skins. He was Jesus's cousin. Okay, so verse two now, Jesus said, this is how you should pray. Father, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. Give us each day the food we need and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And don't let us yield to temptation. You have probably heard those words before, the Lord's Prayer, simply because the disciples asked, Lord, teach us how to pray. And Jesus was like, here you go. Here is something you can pray every day that covers all of those bases. It's beautiful. Verse five now, here comes the story about prayer. Then teaching them more about prayer, he used this story. Suppose you went to a friend's house at midnight wanting to borrow three loaves of bread. You say to him, a friend of mine has just arrived for a visit and I have nothing for him to eat. And suppose he calls out from his bedroom, Don't bother me. The door is locked for the night and my family and I are all in bed. I can't help you. But I tell you this, though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, he will get up and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You fathers, if your children ask for a fish, do you give them a snake instead? Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Wow. I love that story that Jesus told and how he followed it up with so much encouragement. So let's break down this story and imagine what it would be like today. Like what if you received a text from your friend at midnight? It would have to be a really good friend, right? It would be a little more unlikely that they would 
knock on your door and ask for bread, but maybe they're out of gas or they've got a flat tire or nobody picked them up at the airport like they were supposed to. And hey, Uber is not cheap, right? And they just kept texting you and texting you like, I know you're probably sleeping, but I'm going to keep trying because maybe your phone is on silent. Or they're like, I know you saw my text. I saw the little red that came up on my phone. And you would be like, oh, I'm just going to text back or I'm going to call them and pick them up, whatever it is, right? That is the kind of chutzpah that Jesus wants you to have when you come to God in prayer. When you come to him, he wants you to keep asking. Did you hear it? Because he backed it up after the story. He's like, keep on asking, keep on texting God, so to speak. He hears you. If he's asking you to wait, there is a good reason. It's part of the plan. I always like to say, we see the different puzzle pieces in our lives. God has the cover of the puzzle box. He's putting it all together for our good and his glory. So today, remember, Jesus is telling you through this story, clear as a bell, clear as first light to keep on praying. That thing that you want so much, that desire of your heart that presses day and night, the thing that swims up in your mind when it comes time to make a wish on your birthday cake, the thing that is most precious to you, God knows about it. He cares about it. He's working on an answer and he's telling you, keep on asking, keep on seeking, keep on knocking. I'm going to open that door for you. Watch and see. All right, until next time, you are really loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.